Hello, we need a solar panel for our Sienna minivan camper. I was attracted by the SunPower 110 watt flexible solar panel for its high efficiency and a low weight. After I bought one, I learned a few more things. The panel gets quite hot under the sun. When it's getting hot, the efficiency goes down. And also it needs support to be able to put on the minimum roof. So I bought 0.08 inch thick aluminum sheet and double-sided thermal tape. So I glued the panel to the aluminum sheet and I added two one inch by one and a half inch aluminum angle at both sides for mounting and also for strength. Now there are three screws at the side. I did put double-sided tape at this area to improve the adhesion so to avoid any vibration. I used one inch by one inch aluminum angle and made four mounting bracket so I can attach this whole piece to the crossbar and then put on the roof rail. Now unfortunately the weight goes up. It's from 5 pounds to this whole piece is about 15.7 pounds. With the crossbar on top, the total weight is about 22 pounds. To make it less visible, I used black vinyl tape and covered up all the white surfaces. When I first put this assembly on top of the Sienna, I was quite disappointed because of the low charging efficiency. I got only about 50 watts on the Jackery 1000 screen. Then I realized it's the partial shading issue and both of these crossbars cast a shadow on the solar cells that made the charging efficiency much lower than it should be. This is an experiment I did in this late February to see the partial shading effect. Partial shading. Partial shading. No shading. This is the crossbar locations in my updated setup. I followed the way by Bruce Parks to run the wires from the top to inside the van with some modifications. Okay. There is an existing hole at the bottom of this side panel. The wires come in from this hole. I also have AC power coming in from the same hole, but I just let the plug sitting inside this bottom plastic protection case when not in use. Another issue related to the solar panel is wind noise. My original setup, I noticed quite an increase in wind noise. I did many experiments. I found the main contributor is the Sienna roof rail clearance is smaller at the front and quite bigger at the back. And also, over tighten the screw on the crossbar will noticeably increase the wind noise. To minimize the wind noise, I did a couple of things. I lowered the solar panel at the back, avoid over tightening the crossbar screw, and also I made a small wind deflector at the front. So after these measures, the wind noise is getting much better. I measured the wind noise with no crossbar uh, with crossbar but no solar panel and with crossbar and a solar panel the difference is about 1 dB. So to summarize there is probably not much advantage of using flexible solar panel. Uh, I'm not sure about the wind noise. Uh, the advantages I can think of probably is uh, lower uh, profile so it's much less visible. 
and because of the uh, low profile and the less cross section, the gas mileage may be a little better. So that's all for the solar panel experience I had with this uh, uh, flexible one. Thanks for watching.